Hey YouTube viewers, this is another update of my 40 gallon. And well, you can see that the layout has changed just a little bit. And let's take a closer look now. And well, first I'd like to start off with the baby tears. And how I um, lately I've been keeping the baby tears as low as possible. I've been trimming a lot. And well, I know that my cherry shrimps don't seem to like it as much, but at least it encouraged them to be out and about. They are no longer afraid of the fishes around them, like this little cherry shrimp here. And there's, and there's one all the way back there too. They've been having um, babies lately, and I, I was a little shocked about that. But um. I mean, there's no guarantee that those babies will all survive, but hopefully most of them will. And well, I wanted to talk about this, about some of these plants here that are in lead weights right now. And well, most of these cuttings here came from the mother plant, this Japonica here from this part. And right now I had them in lead weights so that I was just moving them around to see if if this is where I would like them to grow and at the same time while well, giving them the plants time to grow its own roots so I think I will stick to this layout you can see that there's gonna be like a little curve type of layout here and as for this health fairy plant I kind of gave up on it it was it's growing too slow for me so I, I might just put two here I might put these t other, they're related to the Japonica plant, but they're the bigger version. I think I'll put them right where they are. This, you know, they're in lead weights. I'm trying, uh, you can see the roots are already starting to grow a lot, so I might be putting those in soon. And well, here's the side view. Lately, and I've been having a hard time with this tank because I had cyanobacteria I had this hair allergy that you can see over there but little by little I've been dealing with each problem like you know solving it differently for example I was using this product for blue green algae it did its job it cleared all the blue green algae the shrimp survived the plants survived even the fish so that's that's a plus for me and I'm, and I'm starting to use this Flourish XL to help start removing some of that hair algae that are growing not only on the driftwood but even on some of these plants which is which gets a little annoying but but that's alright I'm just dealing with it slowly but shortly I wanted to show that I got some new fish here and they are I don't know if you can see them they're very clear um, they're like glass cat fishes. There's three of them, and I have them in this little quarantine tank for the moment, hoping that you know I can build up their immune system with this, with the help of this bottle here. It's supposed to help. Can't really see the letters there, but it's supposed to boost their immune system a bit and give them some slime, a good slime coating for their well. For their bodies basically so right now they seem to be doing all right they're quite shy but well um, this is all I wanted to show you for now and I hope everyone likes it and thanks for watching